Hi everyone, Lazy Fire here, and welcome to the first Strike Force mission. Now, before we jump into the cinematic before it, let's get a couple things out of the way. As you can see, we have our objectives, which is to defend the facility from the SDC, and we have 13 Strike Force teams. That means we have 13 teams of SEALs, in addition to the two sentry guns and one claw unit will be given. Uh, we have to use those to the best of our abilities and hope we don't lose too many people. And Really, the sentry guns and claws are going to go away pretty quickly, and the SEAL teams, because their AI is bad, they won't last too long either. So with that, let's get started. Admiral on deck! Thank you. Check out this beauty. Chairman. Tian Zhao, leader of China's military, the head of the SDC coalition's armed forces, cocksucker plays hardball, even with China's government. They have as much control over him as we do. This cat walks alone. Chairman Zhao's squeezing Russia's balls real tight. If Russia caves in and joins SDC, they'd be the largest military force on the planet. Which is precisely what Menendez wants, setting up the superpowers to wipe each other out. Right now, Iran and India are both under threat. SDC's making their move. Time for JSOC to step up. Their initial strike caught us off guard and crippled our primary defenses. We held them off, but our regiment was decimated. We cannot withstand another attack. Was it SDC, Commander? We were hit by ground and air drones. FOB Spectre is vital to securing India's northern border. For rapid response, our only option is to halo in. The enemy's primary objective will be to smash the defense grid by targeting power generators in the satellite uplinks. If the grid goes down, there's nothing to stop them from penetrating the main control room. If that happens, FOB Spectre is down and it's open season on India. Okay, and before we jump into the mission itself, they bring up another briefing here, uh, just to give you an idea of where everything's going to be located. Uh, normally, I'm going to be skipping these items, and we're going to jump right into the mission. Uh, but you can see we have a power transformer, a cooling tower, and a communication satellite. And finally, if they breach any of these two items, they'll actually open up the main building there, and you'll go after the mainframe computer. So... With that in mind, we're going to be trying to protect two of those points for as long as possible, uh, but as one person, it's going to be a little difficult. So, with that, let's start off. And I cut out a little bit here. Uh, there is a training mission right before this. Don't worry too much about that. It doesn't teach you too much that you won't see here. Transports are one minute out. All units on ground establishing perimeter. The commsat, the transformer, and the cooling tower power the base shield doors. If two of these positions fall, the enemy will gain access to the central mainframe. So, as the game starts off, people start running to their designated locations. At the bottom of the screen there, you can see the different groupings. Uh, I have this group uh, above, uh, ahead of me here selected, and I can start tra uh, sending them all over the place with the left bumper. Now, I've already sent the claw to the middle of the area that claws the uh, quadruped quadrupedal uh, drone and that's going to be defending against people who as they parachute in. I'm going to send these guys over to a little bit more defendable location, which is going to be over here. Infantry proceeding to marker. So as you can see, these guys will run over there and you know they'll cover that area. You can also take control of the turrets by holding X while you're next to them. I will use that at one point or another. I do like to try to show stuff off here. The one thing you won't see me do is using commander mode which is the mode that allows you to uh, direct units around, but not really do anything with them. As you can see, I'm already having issues. The claw is not where it's supposed to be, and my team is already getting shot up pretty bad. So, I'm going to have to take the fight directly to some people here. First off, let's get this ASD over here. We have a teammate pointing out! Yeah. So, as people die, you can see uh, at the bottom left there, one of my riflemen is down. And he's going to, that's going to knock the number down on each one of those. 
All right, up ahead, we're going to get to see the, yes, that is the wrist-mounted grenade launcher. It's actually pretty useful. If it directly hits somebody, it will kill them right out. Now, the issue in this mode is that, whoa, I don't know if everyone else is seeing the weirdness that's on my screen, but it was pretty bad. Uh, so the issue with the... Ah, we got the Hostile Claw there, which is good news. Our Claw will target the Hostile Claw, but our Claw also seems to have issues targeting individuals, as you'll see in a moment. Anyways, the issue here with your equipment is that you do not... Because you have to use the left bumper to direct units, you're not able to automatically uh, use things like flash grenades or anything like that. So you are stuck with whatever your loadout is for your primary explosive weapon. And as you can see here, we're starting to see drones, uh, air drones come in. They're referred to as enemy quads. So just uh, watch out for those. They're pretty, they're pretty weak targets. However, they can do some pretty good damage, as you can see here. Right now, I'm just trying to get out of the area. There we go. And we'll just pop these down. Now you're going to see a lot of cuts in this video because I did, I'm doing this commentary post recording. And here we go. I'm about to die for the first time in this level. Cooling tower under attack. Move to secure. Try and take out the ASD. When you die, that's what happens. Uh, you start to switch over to a different character as long as you have uh, people on the ground. And as you can see, my team's taken some pretty heavy losses here. We're down to two. Oh, oof. We're down to two individuals of the machine gun and the rifleman variety. I'm piloting one of the machine gun guys. And you can see he has two EMP grenades and a pistol as his backups. So, with that in mind... Oh, here's some fun. My team is not exactly aiming at things anymore. So now that enough people have died on my side, we're going to get a little bit more reinforcements. Right here, I should have taken control of that turret and taken these guys out, but I was dumb enough to try to do this. As you can see, this is an ACOG scope on an LMG, and it's working pretty effectively. Now here's my issue, this claw. The claw takes like two rockets, all the MP grenades, and something like 200 LMG shots. So I only had a rocket I picked up. Now by hitting it with an EMP, hitting it with an EMP will temporarily disable it, which is good news for me. Uh, but as you can see, it's getting stun locked basically here, and a hundred rounds go into it. Just that's an absolutely insane number of rounds. And at the same time, my team is getting completely fucked because they can't aim. And this is the major downfall. Oof. That is as you can hear as you can hear the enemy has destroyed the power transformer, which means that we are kinda one point away from having to go inside here. And Oh, it looks like that claw is really gonna be my issue, huh? As you can see, I'm trying to stay alive here, uh, but I'm getting targeted quite a bit. My The rest of my team is not exactly performing up to par here. And the, cl the claw is still alive, but <laughs> it's kind of insane that that thing has that much health, but I don't really have the ability to take it out right now. Right now, I'm looking around for quads, hoping for the best. They do keep flying in. But that claw is now attacking directly on that B point. So with him there, he's uh I can direct my teammates to go attack him, but I'm pretty much fucked. As you can see, they the other side has dropped a ton of people here. And I'm having issues. Enemy forces are attacking Okay. So that claw has almost taken out the the item it was going after, and there it goes. Shield doors are offline. Enemy moving inside. And with that noise, it means it's time for us to go after our last point. So I'm gonna actually run inside here. And with this, we're kind of done with the mission. All we have to do is hold out in this one spot for about three more minutes. So there's gonna be a bit of cutting here. Uh, not too much. I want to show off the claw which has somehow survived the beating it took. I've picked up a small somewhere. Here it comes. 
Yes, that's that thing is still alive, and I'm just gonna drop some units on it. Now I could hold the left bumper to make everyone shoot it, but I decided to go through and cycle through on that one. The claw is kind of a weird unit. It does this little ducking thing every now and again when it's not fighting. But there it goes. It only took everything I had for a good three minutes. And with that, we're really done. I was able to defend this, and I just wanted to show that screen off there. And we're done. So, thanks for watching this, guys. And we'll see you next time where we're going to go into an actual mission, and then another Strike Force mission right after that. Thanks for watching. Bye. That was one for the books, Mason.